Good morning folks and welcome back to the Ever and Andy Fishing Channel. It's Andy again. Hi everyone. As you can see, I am not in the fishmobile. I'm in my own little tiny car. I've come out today to uh, do some pike fishing again. I enjoyed the last session so much that I decided I want to come out and do a little bit more spring pike fishing, particularly to try and get a few on the jerk baits. Today I'm going fishing on my own. And is guiding, he's at work, boo you, poor you. So I decided since it's a really, really beautiful day, it's forecasted to be about 20 degrees, which is for April, come on, it's amazing, considering that we had like snow and hailstorm a week ago. Truth be told, I'd actually plan to come fly fishing today. The conditions will be pretty good later on for fly fishing. This very misty morning we've got is gonna give way to quite a bright sunny day eventually. I just wanted to give these spring pike another go. So I'm gonna give it a go. I'm fishing a river that Andy fished a week or so ago. He put a video on YouTube, I will link that below. And he did really well, considering that he was literally fishing through hailstorm and rain and insane wind. He did really, really well. I'm on another pit, it's a different pit to the last one, much bigger, much deeper. In truth, I don't know what stage these fish are at in terms of spawning. I haven't seen any evidence that they are. So it'll be really interesting to see if we can catch some of these fish while they're still in the shallower water. I've never fished that river before. I walked along the river about a year ago. So I know how it looks. I know like what to expect, kind of, almost. It's a really, really difficult river to fish. Same format as usual. I've got two rods with me. I've got a rucksack full of lures and a couple of cameras. And I'm just going to make the most of it and see what we can find. So I don't know. I'm expecting a total blank. But what I really want to do is just to prove myself that I can go and catch a fish on one of the most difficult rivers we have around us without my own personal fishing guide, aka Andy. The average size in this pit is bigger than the other pits that are fished. So hopefully, fingers crossed, if we find a few fish, one of them should be a better one. Let's crack on. So let's see. Oh, terrifying. Okay, so first lure I've picked up is that jerkster. Uh, just because it served me so well last time. I want to have a play with that. I just want to have a play with the, that new Citrix reel again. Get to know a little bit better. One change I have made is that I've put a few more of the um, steel balls in here. Because this place is deeper, I've just put a little bit more weight in there, make a bit more noise, and it'll get it down in the water column a little bit faster. Please remember that I don't know what I'm doing here. The river it looks absolutely stunning, it looks beautiful. I tied a large dark olive. What I want to do is throw a couple of casts around here. There's nothing rising, but it's so bright. So I'm not like expecting a ton of fish to rise. What we did say with Andy is that like you literally, as soon as you lift the rod, you spook all the fish if there were any fish there. So we will try not to spook any fish. We will try to catch them. And there the fish goes. Completely spooked. <laughs> like literally as soon as my line landed on the water, the fish was gone. Well, I guess it's progress that I didn't spook it when I was casting. one gonna count <laughs> that's so funny okay I think I'm gonna have to go to him because he's hiding beneath a rock come on little mate come on he just literally went into like a little tiny hole I don't think I'm I don't even know how I'm gonna supposed to get him out like he's literally hiding in the rocks but I'm so glad this is on film because I don't think anyone would believe me what a cheeky little bugger. Oh my god. What do I do? Do I just wait? And uh, I feel like if I'm going to completely loosen up, at least I might get my fly back. Oh, here he is. Oh, poor little guy. Okay, I might need my net. Okay, let's try and get you. There we go. Oh my god. Well done. Come on, little guy. 
Come on, little guy. Let me get that fly. First ever. Get back. Right, he can go back. <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. If I was here for like 10 minutes in total, probably not even that, literally just like walked past the pool, spotted one fish, spooked that fish, obvs, walked to another pool, made a couple of casts, and even, I'm pretty sure even on this side, on this cast, on the GoPro, I said, or in my mind, I said this is going to be the last uh, cast, like kind of made it down inside of, um, like on the inside of the river, and I had a little trout. It counts. I don't care what anyone else says about size. Size doesn't matter and it counts. So I'm gonna dry off my flies, try and catch another one. Already making changes. I'm gonna run this shad around here for a couple of minutes, but I've only been here 10 minutes, 15 minutes. We can see in front of me, this wind has already started to get up and actually it's pushing away from me down into that right hand corner. So we may well be moving pretty soon. Can't help myself. That's uh, that breeze blowing down there is too much to resist. I'm gonna have to move. I'm gonna chase the wind. Right. So I've just spotted a fish. Just tied a large dark olive. Uh, one from Godolin's one again because they absolutely work here. So yes, please send me some more. <laughs> and I will try and cast it. I think. I'm gonna have to stay quite low so if you can't see it really well what I'm doing I'm really sorry but I need to like crouch down because it's a really really still flat pool and I don't want to spook them I don't want to probably will but let's see Yes, trout. Yes, trout. Oh my god, guys, how cool is this? Oh, yes. Is it a rainbow? It is a rainbow as well. Oh my god. I just want to wet my hands. I don't want to touch him with the dry hands. I think I will get a net for him. Come on, buddy. It's a brown trout. It's a brown trout. Yes. 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 Don't know how well you can see it, but it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, wild brown trout. And the fly is out now. Look how beautiful. Oh my god. There he goes. So apparently I can do this fishing thing quite fine as well, if I do say myself. No, I'm just kidding. I feel really, really blessed to be catching these fish, even though my hands and my legs at the moment are so stinging of nettles. There's nettles everywhere and I just crawled on my knees and hands. But it was well, well, well worth it. Let's try and catch some more. My tactic for the next hour or so is going to be run and gun. I've just rigged up the heavier rod with a line through trout and I've put the jerk bait on the little rod. And all I'm going to do is every single time I've got the opportunity to get in somewhere and make a cast, I'm going to have six, seven casts with each rod. If nothing happens, I'm going to move on. That way I can search out the water, I can fish deeper stuff, I can fish shallow stuff, work out where these fish are, because they ain't in there. Let's go.
Got him. There's a fish. There's a fish. Ooh, on the line through trout. Perfect. Absolutely whacked it. That's quite a good one as well. Yeah, there we go. Oh, oh it's gone for those trees. Wow, strong, strong. Oh, turn him. Jeez, really strong fish. Come on. In you come. Whoa. Jeez, there he goes again. Big run. Big, big run. Come on, buddy. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah, there we go. Lovely fish. First fish, really, really strong. About ripped my hand off. Still kicking. No monster. Good start. Lots of marks. Look at the spawning marks there. I mean, if there was any doubt, look at that bite there. If there was any doubt about whether these guys had spawned or not, that's put that to rest. But the running and gunning approach has worked there. It's got me a take. Let's try and get another one. Let's get you back. Jeez, so many spawning marks. Strong fish, there he goes. Sweet. Okay, so first fish on the board and surprise, surprise, it was a line through trout. I love that thing. Some of you guys might have seen IB and I did our favorite lure review a little while back and the line through trout was definitely mine. And that's exactly why. Interestingly, that was the first cast where I actually just straight wound it. All the other casts I've been stopping and starting and imparting action. That one, I just chucked it out and wind it in. It absolutely crushed it. Absolutely smashed it. Interesting how many marks that guy had all over him uh, from spawning. He'd been chewed up pretty bad. So that suggests that they are done with the spawning now and they could well be on the munch post spawn. Hopefully that means I've got a chance of catching a few bigger fish because that's definitely smaller than the average in here. This time, you gonna have it this time? You gonna have it? Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Oh my god! Oh my god, I spooked so many fish in this pool. <laughs> spooked so many fish. I need my net. I need my net. I need my net for this. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Oh, not another tangled. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Yes! Let's take you here. Right. I'm gonna wet my hands. I'm gonna hug this fish. We'll try and make sure that you can see it. Hello, trout. Can I have my fly back? It's not yours. Thank you. Look at that. Look at that. There he goes. I've been here for about an hour and a half now. I had three beautiful, gorgeous wild brownies. The river looks so beautiful. I'm sat here on the bench and there's a, literally a trout rising right next to me. And it's, I'm, I'm just gonna sit here and watch for a bit, I think. I might like try and cast at him seems like a like a decent fish as well but he takes it so quickly I'm just a bit scared that I'm not gonna like be able to strike it and I'm just gonna miss him but I will try anyway let's give it a go you know that child that I was saying he was rising right next to me oh my god check this out check this out check this out <laughs> 
I put the fish back and I'm like, my, my heart is generally like pounding and that was so, so cool, honestly. I'm so sad I couldn't film you how like I was actually trying to catch it, but GoPro is saying that the memory is full. I don't have any memory cards or the way to empty them while I'm out. So I will continue on fishing. Usually, if you want to see what we're up to, follow us on Facebook or Instagram and we're going to post little bits and bobs. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to carry on fishing. I will try and make little videos, perhaps to insert from my phone so you can have a look. Well, that running and gunning tactic bought me one fish, um, but other than that, I've not even seen anything. I'm, I'm really surprised, actually. I, I feel like the conditions are good, good strong breeze. It's nice and warm. The water clarity is good. The temperature feels good. In truth, I'm not really sure what's happened here. And even though I've caught one fish, I don't feel any closer to figuring this out than I was four hours ago when I got here. It's been really, really difficult. It's been made slightly harder by the fact that at this end of the lake there are three bays that I really like to fish that I've got confidence in. Unfortunately two of those have got carp anglers in at the moment and they've got 28 rods spread out over 15 acres. So I just can't get into the places that I really want to fish, the places where I know there's usually fish. Uh, other than that first, uh, that first big bay, the deep bay, where I didn't have anything. So I think my plan is I'm going to walk back in that direction anyway because that's where my car is. I'll have perhaps five more minutes in there just with that line through trout fishing it a little bit faster because that worked after I left. And if it doesn't happen there, I'm going to jump in the car and I'm going to drive to the other end of this lake. It's, it's a huge expanse of water. And basically, it's got a, a shallow end, which is where we are now, and a deep end uh, right the way around the other end. It wasn't where I was expecting to have to catch these fish, but it could well be that they're spawning down at that end. I don't know. It's definitely worth a look, though. I'm really, really sad and I do apologize for the fact that I am not the most techie person ever and that I've run out of GoPro memory and I wasn't really sure how to do the files because I ended up fishing and filming yesterday, like the day before, so I don't know. Right, time for the excuses. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, the car thermometer is say 19 degrees, which is really hot. It's probably double that in the car. I'm absolutely boiling. But that definitely didn't go to plan and a really frustrating day because I don't know I felt like particularly when I first got here those first couple of hours I should have done better than that and I didn't and I'm not really sure why um, I went through the baits I fished a load of different baits fished different types of water I tried different retrieves anyway I had a really good day I had five fish uh, four wild brownies and one rainbow trout and the rainbow trout was the one that was like literally um, rising when I was sitting right next to me on the bench. Really, really good day. More than anything, I'm really proud of myself. I proved so much the fact that I can go out without my own personal fishing boat. So Andy, you're staying at home next time as well. I don't know. Uh, th there's a couple of things that are on my mind that might be responsible. First off, not being able to get to the, to the one particular, the one shallow bay that two carp anglers had just totally covered with rods was really frustrating because that's my absolute hot spot in this place and the last dozen times I've been here I haven't been able to fish it once and that's really frustrating but I know particularly pre and post spawn it's a, it's an absolute hot spot so that didn't help at all because I, I know a lot of the fish migrate to that area. I haven't fished for a bit my confidence was a bit down I think I, I did the day on the river Y um, a couple of weeks ago on my own as well now I did the day on the Lathkill so I think I'm, I've just boosted my confidence up and I could have still kept fishing if I wanted to it's still super early um, I was there only for like three and a half hours four hours but I didn't need it I didn't want to like I, I wanted to prove myself that I can I went there I proved myself that I can and I can go home relax open a bottle of Prosecco and just enjoy my one holiday weekend and get ready for a day out fishing with Andy tomorrow Secondly, on the subject of spawning, the fish that I did catch had some very, very fresh spawning marks. He was pretty cut up. I just wonder if these fish are maybe still at it. Uh, you know, they, they, they weren't healing over marks. They, they look very, very recent. So perhaps I just got the timing on it a little bit wrong. With that said, a huge thank you to Craig McDonald's again. All the fish that I caught were on your fly. So massive, massive thank you to you. Honestly, you tie the most unbelievably beautiful flies I've ever seen. Like, they're just stunning. There's nothing... There's nothing else like it. So a big thank you to you. Whatever it was, uh, I tried everything that I could possibly have thrown at them. I've fished deep, I've fished shallow, I've fished fast, I've fished slow. I, I, don't, I don't know what more I could have done. In fact, I'd like you guys to let me know what I've done wrong. 
uh, guys thank you very much for watching if you want to see more videos with just me in it please let me know I will try my best to be a bit more techy and perhaps like get different angles learn how to use a GoPro <laughs> stuff like that so please let me know in the comments below um so thanks for watching please give it a like even though I didn't catch many fish please give it a like we really appreciate it please subscribe to the channel like the video and I will see you in just a little bit and we'll catch with you guys again very very soon bye thanks a lot guys bye bye